So you want to understand anchor points, not a problem. Heads up everything I'm about to teach you about anchor points I learned from my little bro, aka the Array Brother. So shout outs to him, thanks man, you're awesome. Now anchor points are extremely powerful. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to use them to apply your edgeware to your normals, but there are so many other cool things that you can do with them. To keep it simple, all an anchor point really is, is like a shortcut. It's like a map that tells substance, hey, I want this fill layer to inherit all the black and white data underneath this anchor point right here. I'm going to show you how to use them to apply beveled alphas and emblems, and afterwards I'll explain how the anchor point is working. So to start, let's say we wanted to draw a corporate logo onto this guy, beveled in red paint. Well to do that, I would start by dragging a paint material, change the color, and make sure to disable the height and normal detail. Then right click and add a black mask, and right click the mask and add a fill layer. Then on that fill layer, change the grayscale to whatever shape or emblem design you want. This one looks pretty cool to me so I'm going to use it. Then right click the fill layer and add an anchor point. Now add a new fill layer, hold alt and left click to disable everything except height, and increase the value a little bit. Right click and add a black mask, then right click the mask and add a fill layer, and on that fill layer click click grayscale and click anchor. Then set it to the anchor point that you created over here. Now this is cool, but something that I like to do to make the logos pop out a little is to right click the mask again and add a filter. And then set that filter to bevel. And now you can see that it's starting to look like a real plastered emblem. Now this method is completely non-destructive. If you click on the original file layer you can drag the position according to the UVs, or you can also adjust the position in planar. And of course you can do all the warp features that we learned how to do in the projection manipulation tutorial. For example if you want to stop the design from repeating, set UV wrap to none, and if you click the bevel filter you'll be able to make a bunch of micro adjustments to how it pops out. If you want the bevel to be sharp you can do that by increasing the distance, or you can make it cute and smooth by dragging up smooth down here. Reversing the height will make the design dig in instead of pop out, and again it's completely non-destructive. So this is my favorite way to apply designs to surfaces. Now the reason it works is because anchor points. An anchor point is a layer shortcut. So when we connect this layer to this anchor point, what we are telling substance is whatever black and white data is happening underneath this anchor point is what's going to be applied to this fill layer. It will not inherit anything above the anchor point. This mask up here has nothing but height data. That's why when we're using bevel, the color and roughness is not changing. If we had a paint layer and we started drawing around, it would have nothing to do with our anchor point because it is above it. But if we drag this paint layer below the anchor point, now you can see that it's starting to inherit that layer. So I hope this helps improve your understanding of anchor points. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.